Tom Cruise and you all of a sudden you hear this dreaded oil light. The immediate thing to do is to switch off the motor as soon as possible and pull off on the side of the road so that you can do a proper assessment. Now generally the first thing that you would do is to do a uh, oil pressure test but when you're on the side of the road you can't do an oil pressure test. You need to try and figure out what the problem is. Okay you've now switched the engine off and assuming that you're not hearing a very loud tappet noise coming from the cylinder head um, that is a good sign thus far. So then the next thing that you will do is to check your actual oil level. Check also for visible signs of um, excessive oil leakage, you know, from a, could be maybe a um, oil seal from somewhere on the side where all the pulleys are. Check below, no oil leakage. Next thing that you need to check is if your oil pressure switches are connected. Um, here's one here. That's at the top of the um, oil filter and the other sensor sits over here alongside the cylinder head. That's where I'm pointing to now. Make sure that these uh, sensors are connected and that there are no loose wiring. Make sure that there's no oil seepage coming from these switches because that is a telltale sign of it starting to fail. That is a close-up view of the switch. This is what they look like. Screws in and it connects here for power. Another thing that can cause your oil light to come on is if you do not service your car regularly. You don't do oil changes regularly. You don't change your oil filter regularly. And these things can become blocked up from sludge your oil pump pickup can be blocked from oil sludge and um, it can cause your oil buzzer to come on too. The wrong grade of oil can also cause your oil buzzer to come on. If you're using a too thin oil it can also come up. Many golf owners have varied views on the type of oil to be used. This is the best oil that you can use in my personal opinion. It's the safest oil, it'll give you no problems and it is recommended by VW. I've used this kind of oil for many years and I've never had a problem with it. Well that is how you do those checks just to determine what is causing your oil light to come on. And the important thing is really to have a oil pressure test done. Replace the oil sensors if you haven't done so in a very long while. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful and um, hope that it can help you in determining what is causing your oil buzzer to come on. Thanks for watching.